Yeah, hello and welcome to another update video about Polkadot. So Polkadot so far is adhering very well here to the triangle Elliott wave count. We've been talking about the triangle now for a while. The view was that due to the lack of bullish price action since the last swing low here on the 19th of June uh, and the 13th of June, the lack of bullish price action, a more bullish wave count is not justified. I always told you that we can look at a more bullish wave count only but only if we go above 885, that never happened. And from that point of view, I'm focusing, I continue to focus on the triangle Elliott wave count. I would count this Elliott wave triangle as complete here. And there's two possibilities. Um, one is to count it as complete at 845. Yeah, um, counting it as complete at 845. And um, another possibility, I would need to rearrange it a bit, is to count it as complete here at $8. Doesn't make a great difference. Um, for what is coming down here. Yeah, it doesn't make a great difference. So from that point of view, um, it is following very nicely. And when the wave E was finished here, I told you that we can now expect a move to the downside, quite a strong one. Um, evidence that we are heading down, first indication that the triangle is done, would be a breakout below the wave D low at 7.35 that occurred. And the next one would be a move below the wave B low. Now that is exactly what we haven't done yet. That is the last confirmation we would need that the triangle indeed is breaking out to the downside. That is a level of yeah 648. We need to get below 648 and then we are already making a lower low anyway here because um, the wave, what I have labeled as wave three low here is at 636. So there is not much space left anyway. So. Overall, I think the odds or the probabilities are really speaking um, or are really in favor of a further sell off here. I have to say at the moment, at least, you know, things can always change in the charts. But at the moment we can see, um, yeah, we adhered very well to it, followed the move down. I think we can count this here as a wave one to the downside only. Yeah, um, there would be a wave two pullback. And then the, no, sorry. Yeah, no, there's various possibilities, unfortunately, I think. We can even count this down here as a wave one, this as a wave two pullback, this as the wave three, this as the wave four in which we currently are, and then there will be one more wave down in a wave five. Okay, so we need to be aware of that. But either way, I do expect another move down. On the move down, if we make a lower low, one key target will be the 88.7% FIB level at $5.62, so have it on the radar. $5.62 as soon as we break 648 and then yeah maybe 636 the move will go to 562 in my opinion 560 562 that would be uh, that would be the last leg down in my opinion at least we have a chance a good chance to move up from there i don't know at this stage how long that wave 5 will be could be this all of this was just a wave 1 or this could already have been the wave three. So we need to be aware. So one, two, three, four, five, or we count all of this as a wave one. Both possibilities are unfortunately there, but as long as we um, are following this scenario here, we are heading further down, maybe after a little bit of a pullback, that's always possible. But again, we are holding currently below a trend line here. You can see that we had support here, we had support here, and we flipped it for resistance here. Had another fake out, yeah another fake out into this uh, didn't work out and then retested confirmed it basically as resistance again and we now can't even made a lower lower high no? and uh, yeah you could call this as a bearish flag a downtrend and then here a flag pattern basically which we are forming out of which also we would most likely break out to the downside yeah so general weakness in the chart here on the polka dot chart so Currently, primary expectation would be further down as it has been for the last um, days and last week. And so far, this is working out. Um, this year was just based on this wave count, purely a consolidation. And yeah, we would be heading further down. Would there be a bullish wave count? There is a bullish wave count as well. <clears throat> but I've got my problems with the bullish wave count. So here you can see the, the bullish wave count, which would assume that from the low on the 18th of June, we, we created a wave one to the upside. Yeah, this was basically a leading diagonal. We are coming down in a wave two. I've got a few problems with this wave count. Um, one key problem is that there's a bit of a, 
There's a bit of a lack of structure here. Yeah, we can count it as an ABC if we want to really. But um, the problem I have is that we've pulled down all the way to the 88.7% FIB level. So we've nearly come to the beginning of this possible wave one, which is not really great. This is one problem I have. The other problem I have is that this swing low here, which would have to be a wave five. So three down here on the 13th of January, a four up here, a five down here, would complete the downtrend in this scenario. And then we moved up in a wave one, moved down in a wave two. So we've got a truncated low, which is usually only acceptable in yeah exceptional circumstances. Then we've got this pullback in a wave two, which came down very strongly. So for me, yeah, unless we now really blast through here and take out that swing high at 725, um, I remain very much focused on the downside, even if we take this swing high out, it wouldn't change a lot. We would, where, where I want, might change to more bullish again um, and focus more on the bullish one is really, as I said before, when we take that wave A high out, uh, which is at 885, 884, 885. So this is currently the view for Polkadot and on the more imminent um, view here. So, you know, there's the swing low at 653 here, obviously when that's gone, then we're probably gonna take the wave B out anyway in the wave three and we are very close already. There is not much left from where we currently are to really make a new swing low, yeah, only 4.6%. That can theoretically happen in a day easily, okay? So be aware of that. Okay, so this is my view about Polkadot. Hopefully you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.